it's me Christine welcome to my cozy corner of the internet in this video I thought we could unbox together this deck it's Christina Ricci's cat full of spiders so I just got this deck it lit Amazon literally just dropped it off at my door today and I thought we could go through it together it's not even out of the plastic yet and um, I was really attracted to this deck you know I sort of have a guilty pleasure of oops you know, some certain celebrity stuff. Like I wanted to get, I got um, Pamela Anderson's cookbook on the way and I did a whole video about Megan Fox's poetry, um, which is actually really good. And I did some card spreads that go with it and stuff. Um, wasn't my most popular video, but I just, I don't know. I just certain um, celebrities, I just kind of like. And so if they ever come out with things, I, um, I want to check it out. And so I love Christina Ricci's sort of goth vibe and this deck looked really cute. So let's, let's see if it's, if it's anything. And, um, you know, of course I love all her movies. You know, she kind of has the Wednesday Adams and Sleepy Hollow, um, image. Um, of course those movies are older, but, um, I don't know. She's just one of those kind of cute celebrities I, I've always enjoyed that her style and everything so let's see what our tarot deck is like um, I should mention Amazon um, smacked up the box pretty good like all the corners are crushed which it is what it is but um, it looks like a little book you know it has this the, the box has like a back that looks like a book and then it's meant to you know it has a bend that kind of looks like pages um, it's very cute. The cover has her picture with some little symbols and things. And that's the back. It's by Insight Editions. So let's take a look. Okay, very cute presentation. The end papers are cups, spiders, these little X's and swords. Um, and then this has sort of a velvety feel to it, which is interesting. Um, here's a little book. It has a picture of her with a black cat. And then the back of the booklet's got a little bit of velvet flocking just kind of stuck to it. Um, it has a queen of maybe a high priestess or something. Oh my goodness, it's it's all her. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't wait to dig into this. Wow, the deck is quite thick. And then the box has this little spider on the inside, which is just adorable so okay good off to a good start here the quality of the deck let's zoom in just a little bit the quality it the cardstock is is quite thick yeah it, uh, it has a slight finish I do appreciate that it's not glossy um, the size seems to be pretty standard tarot size and um, yeah, let's go through it. So now I haven't seen every single Christina Ricci movie ever. I've seen quite a few. Um, so there are probably going to be some that I don't recognize here, but let's just see. Okay. So the fool it's, it's to me, it kind of seems like Wednesday Adams, but I don't think so. I'm not sure who this character is to be honest, but okay. Very cute. Magician. Oh, So kind of, um, I don't know, I want to say Edward Scissorhands, but I'm not quite sure. It'd be fun to find out what all these movies are. I'll tell you the ones that I recognize, and I, you know, I'm not totally sure about that one. Wow, or this one. Actually, there's one movie with her and Vincent Gallo, and I don't know um, what it's called, but it, this kind of reminds me of it. Cute. Okay, the emperor. You know, I would say, like, the, as in terms of the energy, the traditional energies of the cards, this isn't really, it's not really, like, this isn't really giving me the Aerophant type vibes, but it's still cute. I still like it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so cute. I definitely recognize some of these costumes, and this one I know for sure is Pan Am, because I remember when that series came out, I thought she was so cute, but it, it got canceled, but it was actually quite a cute little series, and it's funny that that's the chariot, <laughs> the two little cats, so cute, gosh, she has a ton of movies, because I'm recognizing her image and her costume, 
in these things, but I nothing's really ringing a bell in terms of like what movies exactly they are. This one's probably that Penelope since the um ma the mask. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll make it a mission to go and see what films these are, but I love how there's like little animals kind of spread throughout. Justice. Yeah, the, the, in terms of the cards, like maybe I'd have to know a little bit more about what characters in these films are to really um, be able to kind of tap into the energies. But so far, it's just kind of a cute little, <laughs> it's just a cute little walkthrough of Christina Ricci's film costumes, but um, it's still very cute. Oh my gosh, it makes me want to watch more Christina Ricci movies. Love that. Tower. Good star. I almost want to say that's like a Woody Allen movie, maybe. The moon. Very cute. Gosh. The sun. Well, you know, she has been um a, a star since the 80s so, you know she i think uh, mermaids was a movie that she made when she was a little girl and that was in the late 80s i want to say and um you know maybe that maybe the 90s early 90s but that's you know 30 year career so she's probably been in a lot of stuff and i clearly haven't seen most of it so but I love, I'm really enjoying the, the walk through the, all the costumes and stuff. Okay, so now we're into wands, and it looks like we're going backwards, so. Um, cute, page of wands. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's really interesting. Like, um, I was hoping that it would be a little bit more expanded in terms of um, more than just her, like, I don't mind her being on all the cards. That's not the issue. It's just that some of the, um, pairings, they're not really giving me a lot of, um, you know, energy of the card. Like this one's interesting. The, um, nine of wands is this futuristic scene. Maybe I just don't know her filmography that well, but this is a really weird card. <laughs> 10 of wands. Very, very bizarre. Okay. Okay. Seven. Hmm. Eight. Sorry, that was not the ten. That's the five. Yeah, now we're into just kind of some, I don't know. It's odd. It's very odd. <laughs> oh, gosh. There's our ten. Wow, okay, just odd. I like this card though, I like, I like, um, but it, to me it does not really say King of Cups, it really doesn't, so they went their own way with it, I think. Um, again, like I like how it looks, I like, you know, it's cheeky, it's fun, but it isn't, it definitely doesn't like, to me it doesn't correlate with the actual meaning of the cards, but it's still like, I could still use it. Okay, the two, yeah, it's very odd. I, I'm trying to think like in real time how I would use this deck. I'm not sure it would be good for readings. I, I'm trying to find, you know, a place for it in my, you know, in my canon, in, the, in my head of when I would pull this deck out, you know, because this, okay, I'm just looking at this like five of cups and <laughs> do I love it? Yes. Um, but does it say five of cups to me? Not really. Like I, I like how these, these cats are. It's kind of cute. Sorry. That's the four. Now here's the five. Mm. Yeah. Okay. There's a six. And seven. Yeah. It's very bizarre. This one is truly bizarre. The eight with the tiger and the little figures um, and all the spilled cups except one looks like it's standing. And, you know, when I think of the eight of cups, I, I think of walking away and, um, this is just a very, it's a very unique take. 
I don't know if this is like a cave with um, like stalactites. And I, I just, I don't know her filmography enough to know what the heck that is. So um, anyway, there's the nine. I love the cats, it's so cute. There's the 10. Okay, that the 10 is actually kind of giving um, seven of cups vibes. Odd, okay, so now we're into the King of Swords. It's a cute, cute imagery, love that. <laughs> okay, oh my God. There's the page. Cute. Okay, there's that ace. Mm. Two. Mm. Maybe this is more of like a collector kind of deck. You know, maybe sort of people who collect comics and that sort of thing. Oh. <laughs> the headless pumpkin lady it's really cute okay <laughs> the six here's our seven which very much looks like the ten in a way here's our eight okay that one tracks that one's kind of getting the job done it's interesting too that there's like a circle of wolves around here her that's interesting and the nine, I mean, that makes sense. It's got a little bit of like the ring kind of vibes to it. What is it, HB? And then there's our 10. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Pentacles, so here's our king. That, so this one kind of gives me more, um, you know, two of swords or even oops even um yeah kind of giving me two of swords queen cute little bowling outfit <laughs> this is odd okay knight page i like the energy of this one this is definitely giving me the page of pentacles our ace. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Like this deck is just not, maybe it's for comic collectors. The three, <laughs> there's like some kind of creature out there. It's a very strange deck. It's very odd. The energy is odd and it, there is like a, um, story being told in the suits like uh, there's you know clearly something happening here there's a through line and um, I just don't know her films well enough to be able to identify that um love this five of pentacles but it's not really giving five of pentacles it's, yeah it's really interesting okay the six all right I'm seeing a little bit of nostalgia there Seven. Cute. Maybe I'm just a little bit too old for this deck. Like, because I just I'm not really recognizing the films that I'm familiar with. And I thought I had seen quite a few Christina Ricci films, but yeah, none of the ones that I know I've really recognized. A couple, but that's about it. Hmm. It's a very cute deck, though. Oh, that's really sweet. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. All right. All right. So just kind of like, um, general feelings to wrap it up. I, I think the deck is really well done. I think it's cute. I think it's definitely for Christina Ricci fans who really know, um, the ins and outs of her film, maybe even, you know, more of the culty kind of films that she's been in. Um, it's maybe for somebody who doesn't mind really engaging with the book because a lot of the meanings are, they're, they're not necessarily apparent to the more typical meanings 
Um, now, I say that ha not having seen most of the films that, uh, you know, have been represented in these cards, so perhaps it's, like, deeper than, uh, you know, I'm really able to go because of that, um, but it's really too bad because uh, it, it's a very, you know, I like this idea a lot. I was kind of thinking, you know, it might be um, good for, like, more narrative kind of work, but yeah, or maybe archetype kind of work. Um, now, that being said, personally, I'm not sure I have the patience to really dig into and and um, uh, unpack this deck in a really deep and meaningful way because I have other decks that I really are on my like list to do that with. Like that on my, I have a Benabel Wen deck that I have been just you know um, really wanting to dig into and. The Nameless One Tarot is another one of those. So I think that I would be more likely to put my energy in, in a deep dive in some of those decks versus just kind of going into a deep dive of her filmography and then just making the correlations. But that's me, you know. I, I'm, I, I thought I was a fan, but I think you have to be kind of a super fan to really understand the nuances of this deck. So yeah, but I'm glad that um, it is... I'm glad it's here, <laughs> and um, but yeah, I have a feeling I might be returning it. I'm not necessarily sure that this is the deck for me, but I I see I see the benefit of it. I see it, you know, if it's your cup of tea, I can see it being a lot of fun. If you like, you know, graphic novels, obviously if you like Christina Ricci, but if you just kind of enjoy, um, you know, putting together the little parts and pieces of her filmography, it's, I would say. Um, but that is a very niche type of tarot reader but um anyways i'd be curious to know what you think about this deck and what you thought about this walkthrough so thank you so much for coming along with me and i will see you guys in the next video bye